time you're right. here, I want to get better. So we're here with the Protege Lite. This is the prototype, the original one I built. And so this is just to give you a quick flight demo. Um, so, it's, so we're going to launch about that attitude. There we go. And it snaps right. So one of the things you notice is this airplane's flying along. If you notice, I'm, we're actually flying slightly nose high, just tiny little bit. Um, and I can't give you any exact stuff on how to get that, but ma namely, I mean, if you get a, a little bit of camber in here, just a little bit, get everything flying well and have that nice slide in, uh, you can keep moving the CG back by removing clay, and eventually you'll get that, uh, that pattern. Um, if you go too far back, actually, you will, you'll lose it again. Uh, but our CG uh, seems to consistently come out right here at the, the back of the pylon, right there where the, my fingernail is. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, this is, you know, this is the prototype. This is the one I built for the build video. Um, and it has not been trimmed beyond what I showed in the build video. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out doing the same thing we did in the house. Whoop! <laughs> and we see it snaps in pretty well. So the thing you notice is that it's not turning a whole lot in the glide, but also it kind of stalled as it uh, went in there. So we're going to add a little bit of right rub. And so what I'm doing is I'm bending this to the right. Now we're going to try again. And we'll do it like so. And it dips down a little. What you notice is when we launch, we're rolling off, but we're, then it's straightening out in the glide. And the reason for that is uh, that we're going to need to wash in this right wing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to twist it up like this. So I've got the plane upside down. Yeah, that sounds bad. It should, because you're actually breaking some of the wood grains. That may be a little too much. Now we also, we're going to have to add more right rudder compensate. And yeah, I did crack the rudder right there. That's okay. So we're going to go back to this and we see it snaps in okay. Now the airplane is stalling somewhat because we've added some incidents, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a test, uh, a test launch before we fix that. And again it goes beautifully. And now you notice the airplane is turning in the glide even if it's stalling a little. So, if you'll come over here, we're going to add just a little bit of flex. And that is probably too much, but we'll get us started. Actually, I'm going to take off half of that. So we'll launch with this. So I'm going to take a little bit of that clay back off. So if you notice, I hooked off and lost a bunch of altitude. Um, usually you can take care of that by bank angle on the launch. So I'm going to tilt it over this way a little. And there we go. Perfect. Don't hit the 
basketball goal, it's going to hit the basketball goal. I got away with that. <laughs> right. So that was, uh, oh, stop it. My phone, I have crashed my watch. Oh well, I guess I won't be using that for the rest of the day. Um, so if you notice, we're flying a little bit nose low and glide. Uh, that was about a 24 second flight, so not bad. Um, but also, as we're going up, the airplane is arcing over a little bit. So that means we could slide the CG back some and then start adding a little bit of down elevator to compensate. And you'd be able to get a straighter launch and get it to slide in the glide. And that'll allow you to get a little more nose high of a, a glide pattern, which is basically what we did with the, with the prototype. Um, but that's something that's down to experimentation uh, on your part. Uh, what, what my goal is, is to just get you to the point that the airplane is flying safely, and, uh, and, and we've got that. So anyway, uh, check these out on our, on our website if you, if you haven't already. Um, questions, comments in the comment section below, and, uh, and we'll see you later.